So most people know or have heard that the Mesa Boogie rectifier is a copy of the Soldano SLO100. The only problem that we have is that these two amplifiers sound nothing alike. So in this video, we're going to be discussing the similarities or the differences between these two amplifiers and we are going to be discussing some particular things that make the difference in the sound and the thing that we are also going to be discussing is whether you can get SLO100 tones out of your rectifier. Now as usual, before we begin, I need to introduce you to the awesome sponsors of this video and today the sponsors are Dolly Parton fans. So. In the presence of Dolly Parton fans, I need to kindly ask you to like the video, subscribe if you like the content that I'm doing, and go check out the Slightly Technical Academy at slightlytechnicalacademy.com because that's my new website and I will be posting amazing stuff over there. There's a lot of knowledge to be had and uh, registration is for free. Oh yeah, and by the way, I just finished doing a huge pack of Tonex models of this particular ramp. This Mesa is modified by me, it sounds absolutely killer, and those tone models are brutal. All right, and it's basically $15 for all the premium models. So you get like, I don't know, like over 20 packs for $15. It's like a really good, really cool thing to be had. So let's get on with the video. The Mesa Boogie Rectifier is the exact same thing as a Soldano. Well, no, it is not, but it is definitely true. The Soldano came before the Rectifier and the Rectifier is basically a ripoff of the Soldano and the two circuits are very, very, very similar. I mean, the architecture is pretty much the same. Now, we are talking about the gain channel on the rectifier and obviously the overdrive channel on the SLO100. We're not talking about the cleans. Obviously, the Soldano doesn't have the different rectifiers that you can choose, like the bold and spongy switch, and it obviously has three channels. So there are some differences in terms of like what the amplifier offers. But let's take a look at the schematic and let's see some of the differences between these two amplifiers. Now, now this is a Mesa Boogie Rectifier schematic and I did some annotations. So the stuff in red is basically like the stuff that's different on a Soldano. As you can see from here, <sighs> it's pretty similar. So let's discuss some of the things. I will go through everything, but very, very quickly. So the grid stopper resistor makes a huge difference. You, we, ha you, we have a resistor on the Soldano and the rectifier, you would usually have a ferret bead or something like this. There's some differences over here, some different choice of potentiometer and different uh, sort of voltage divider is a difference, not a huge one, but it is a difference. And there's also a big difference that the rectifier actually has this like treble bleed resistor or, or call it whatever you want. Sometimes people call it the bright cap or something. So this is quite a bit different. This capacitor here is not existent on an SLO. Not a huge difference, but a difference. And obviously the old SLO had this old style of uh, effects loop, which I think is pretty different in the new SLO. I hope it's pretty different in the new SLO because I've never worked on one, but pretty much this would be the send stage from the SLO and here in the rectifier it goes directly into the tone stack. Now the tone stack is a little bit different between the orange and the red channel. Now the orange one is identical to the Soldano where the red channel has a little bit different treble capacitor. Basically you're gonna have a little bit more like one and a, one and a half K would you have on a, on a like a red channel so not a huge difference but there is one huge difference over here and that is the presence network that comes directly after the tone stack so on the old rectifiers the orange channel would always have this presence network and it's basically not a presence network it's a very drastic like high frequency uh, destroying network all right so so basically it's a, a high cut filter where on the red channel if you're using the modern mode you would have your presence potentiometer over here so it is a very different presence thing compared to like a typical Marshall or a Soldano all right so if we look at further if we take a look at how the power amplifier looks like. It's very, very similar. There are some differences in the components, but it's not a big deal. The phase inverter has a little bit more high frequency filtering, and that's just because there's a little bit more high frequency stuff maybe coming from the preamp or not, whatever. It's not a huge, huge difference, all right? But it is there. 
All right. Now, the biggest difference here is in the negative feedback. So the characteristic sound of the rectifier actually comes from the fact that obviously when we talk about the rectifier, we're talking channel three, so the red channel. The, the biggest difference in the rectifier is that when you use the modern mode in the red channel, or if you're using multi-watt, every time you use the modern mode, the negative feedback network is disengaged. And that's very unlike a lot of other amplifiers, especially high gain amplifiers. And that makes the rectifier and boomy and fizzy and all this stuff where the Soldano is more like like a typical Marshall thing, even though it has six or sixes, and you know, I know that somebody's gonna start commenting, it's not a Marshall, yeah, it's not a Marshall, yeah, but but it has like this typical negative feedback and presence network. Also, Soldano would have a depth control, which you don't have on a rectifier, so the Soldano has a different voicing of the power amp. And there, the third huge difference that I would mention in this video is that the filtering of the power section is completely different than these two amplifiers. Basically, Soldano has more filtering, making it just stiffer and bolder sounding, where the rectifier has a little bit smaller capacitors, so less filtering, so it's gonna be a little bit more saggier. So obviously, we're talking here about um, the diode rectifier. We're not talking about the tube rectifiers that the Soldano doesn't have, so we are comparing like something that would be kind of like similar. So there are essentially big differences to the circuit. Now, there is no question that the rectifier is basically a ripoff of the Soldano, and I watched some videos with Mike Soldano. It's a very, like, it's a gross question, you know. He gets asked this, I guess he was really hurt by this whole thing. I, I, I don't know the history of this thing, but it has been, it happened like 40 years ago. Today, we have the rectifier, we have the Soldano, very different amplifiers, but basically this one is a ripoff of the Soldano, it's like a modded Soldano, all right? It's basically like a modded Soldano. So we went through some of the things, and now, before I tell you uh, whether you could get any tones, um, any Soldano tones from a rectifier, I would just kind of like to ask you to smash the like button because, hey man, it, it's cool. It means a lot to me and helps the channel out and subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of good stuff coming up and check out the Slightly Technical Academy. Now, could you get any uh, Soldano tones out of your rectifier? Unfortunately, the answer that I would give in this video is absolutely not. Yeah, because because these two amplifiers are insanely different. Because of these, there are a few things that are different, but it makes a huge difference in sound. And I didn't even mention the transformers. So it has, they have completely different transformers. And I would say that the rectifier has um, a little bit lower voltages inside compared to the Soldano, so that makes a huge difference. Now, obviously the output transformer is different, so that makes a huge difference. So we have huge differences, such as the transformers, power section, the way how it operates. But let's say, let's say that if you wanted to get a sound that is as close as possible to the Soldano from your rectifier, what you would do, you, you would use the orange channel. You would use the orange channel, and if you're using a multi-watt, just use the vintage mode, all right? So obviously the orange channel would be more similar, so you would use the vintage mode, and that would sort of bring you into the Soldano territory, even though there are quite a few differences. Now, can a rectifier be modded uh, to sound like a Soldano? Well, it could get pretty close, but still you'd have the same transformers. You could bump up the voltage in the rectifiers, but I guess that's, that's just a topic for another video.